certain types of relations, right? We want to represent them in certain types of relations. So the three different types of relations we talked about was one ordered pairs, which they're already written in, right? Because remember, an ordered pair, we can write as an x and a y, right? Where we had x with the first coordinate, y was the second coordinate. And so here's the ordered pairs. What they want us to do is to transform that as the camera's on. So what we're going to do is we're going to transform that as to a table. Now remember, we're just talking about the relationship between the two points. So if we look at the ordered pairs, remember guys, ordered pair has your x value and your y value. So on a table, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to transplant my ordered pair into my table. So if, if, if I go x, y as an ordered pair, then I can write an x, y for every single one of my ordered pairs. Can I see that? Right? So then all I'm going to do, if I'm going to make a table, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to plug in all my x's. So that'd be a 3, a 1, a negative 2, and a 3. And then over here, I'll have a negative 2, a 0, 4, and a 1. OK? So that's you guys is what you do for that. Make sense? Comprende? We're good done? Um, the next thing it says is to represent it as a graph. So now what we need to do is we need to plot our coordinate points. And if you remember, when given an x-axis and a y-axis, remember we just talked about number lines, right? This is a number line this way. And this is just really like a ver another vertical number line. But when we talk about a relationship, when we bring them together, they have that certain kind of relationship where an ordered pair makes a coordinate point, where x tells you how far to move along the x-axis and your y tells you how far to move along your y-axis. So to graph 3, negative 2, I'm going to go over 3 units. So I go over 3 units, and then I'm going to have to go down 2 units. So I go over 3, and then down 2. And I can make a nice little circle, and that would be my coordinate point 3, negative 2. Right? OK. Because remember, they're related to each other, so you're using both of them. OK? The next one, if I want to graph 1, 0, just keep it on the desk. Um, to graph 1, comma 0, I'll go up 1. But since my x is equal to 0, I'm not going to move left or right at all. I'm sorry, that's the wrong one. x tells me to go over 1. So I go over 1, but y is 0, so I'm not going to go up or down at all. So I'll make a point there. Then here, I'm going to go over negative 2, and then up 4. So I go up 1, 2, 3, 4. So bring them together, I'll have a point roughly around there. And for 3, comma 1, go over 3 and then up one. All right, so you, all you guys are going to do is, um, is you're going to look at this and uh, you know just take your ordered pairs and then plot them on the graph, right? Then the next thing I'll say is they wanted you to, they wanted you to um, write this as mapping. Now mapping is just another special type of way we represent a relation. It's just another way. We talk about ordered pairs, table, well, the same thing we're going to do with mapping, but mapping, we just like to kind of, we write the same thing, but we like to sometimes represent our two maps as our domain and range. And remember, domain and range also dealt with our, you know, we just talked about our input and our output, right? And it's the same thing as like our x values to our y values. So for our domain, it's going to be your, exactly your x values. So it'd be 3, 1, negative 2, and 3. And over here, you have negative 2, 0, 4, and 1. OK? Now, <coughs> then determine the domain and range. Oh, OK, we're not dealing with functions yet. That's right. So when I'm dealing with the relation, I'm just going to map 3 to negative 2, 1 to comma 0, negative 2 to 4, and 3 goes to 1. And actually, I don't need to write it next to 3. We can just say 3 goes to 1 and 3 goes to negative 2. All right? So that's just with that relation. Do you see how the mapping goes, Carrie? Yeah. Oh, you're not, 
Oh, you didn't learn no, it. No, I really did. I did. I did. I did. Oh, I just taught everything. I just went over it. Do you see how you have a table? Yeah. Do you see how the order pairs? Yeah. Do you see the graph? Yeah. And you see how the mapping? See how they're all related? Yeah. It's the same points I'm using, but we're just represented in different ways, right? Then the last question asks us to find the domain and range. Well, remember, Nicolette, domain was all of our x values, and a lot of times we also talk about our input values. So our domain is going to just be all our x values. So if we, if you look at how we represented the x values in each one of these, my domain is going to be one, one, negative two, and three, and my range is going to be this this set, negative two. 0, 4, and 1. Right? And that's how you write your relations in three different ways and do, uh, and do the domain range. <coughs>